Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 22nd. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? Uh, so just cut the deck, I cut it to the Ten of Wands reverse and the Page of Wands on the bottom. So the Page of Wands is typically good news arriving and offer an invite or a new opportunity. Uh, may some be something fun. Somebody may be getting an offer, an invite that, you know, is adventurous or fun. This could be going in a new direction. Um, but the Ten of Wands reverse is letting something go. Um, there's been a lot of hard work. Somebody has been working hard to obtain success. You know, when you get the Ten of Wands reverse, it may be time to relax, you know. Uh, maybe delegate some responsibilities. Maybe somebody is delegating responsibilities or, they're done, or they've, they've already reached, maybe they've already reached a, a level of success and now it's time to do something fun, have some fun by the looks of things. Maybe it's take a break or you know, release a load, you know, um, release some baggage, drop some weight. Um, Ten of Wands is dropping weight. It's letting something go. And Page of Wands to me is doing something exciting. So, you know, we'll see. Somebody's been busy, 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 you know, uh, working on their success. You know, that's the Ten of Wands. Um, but anyhow, what do we have? What do we got? Two. Five of Swords and the Hero Font Reverse. Two fives. Fives are about change, conflict, personal freedom, a need for change. When you see fives. So there is a need for change. There's a lack of faith. Okay, we got somebody here that doesn't believe, or they don't. Maybe they don't believe in themselves, or they're not very spiritual. We also may have somebody here that's in a broken relationship with that hero font reversed. Okay, um, the five of swords is some sort of battle, defeat. You know, um, power struggle. Somebody is really, really. They may be struggling in a commitment because the five or the hero font is some. Could be a marriage. Could be a commitment. Um, there could be some, but some, somebody is doing the opposite of what they say and it's causing a power struggle. Um, there could be some poor counsel here that's causing a fight. Maybe somebody has received poor guidance, you know, and it's causing issues. Um, maybe a relationship that's no longer on the same page because Hierophant to me can represent marriages. But this Five of Swords is... <sighs> walking away it's like turning your back somebody's turning their back on somebody um, they're not interested in working with them they're not it's it's painful there's i feel like we, there's something really painful that's going on here this just isn't working out this this it feels like it's some sort of relationship with the hero font you know somebody's having a hard time uh negotiating they don't they don't want to negotiate this is non-negotiable We, this there's fighting perhaps in some sort of commitment, right? We have we have somebody here that doesn't care who they hurt. You know they don't they don't believe in they don't believe in God or they're not very spiritual. They. Uh, They're looking out for themselves and themselves only, put it that way. They don't care who they hurt as long as they get what they want. Two of Swords Reverse. Now, the Two of Swords Reverse is coming out of denial. Uh, could be something being exposed. And, and underneath the Five of Swords could be crime. So I don't know if there's some, some sort of lies that are being exposed or crime that's being exposed. Um, I feel like there's been some sort of uh, denial here or somebody's been held back by fear. Maybe fear of what's going to happen if I leave, you know, leave this commitment, leave this marriage, whatever. This is, this is coming out of fear, I think, or there's been some sort of extreme fear. Um, let me get another card. 
sun reversed. So the sun reversed is unhappy. It's not happy. This is may definitely have to do with a broken relationship. There's no growth. There's darkness. We may have somebody here that's, you know, they've lost their shine. They've lost their spark. They've lost their desire. There's, something isn't growing. You know, there's no growth where they're at. There's, they're being, there's no choice but to walk away. There is walking away with the Five of Swords. Walking away from some sort of abuse. There's been denial coming out of denial. Uh, seeing the truth or something being exposed. Uh, the sun reversed. Somebody may have even been blocking their feelings with the two of swords. You know, they've been blocking their emotions, blocking the truth, denying the truth, holding back the truth, torn in two different directions with the two of swords. They've, they've not been happy. There's been no growth. There's, there's, there's some sort of sadness. There's poor logic. There's loneliness. We may have somebody here that's, you know, that set that just comes clean. You know, I mean, we may next to that five of swords. It got to do what's best for me. I feel like, you know, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm really not happy. Somebody's not happy. And I think it's going to come out that they're not happy. You know, they're not happy in this relationship or this commitment or something like that. Now we have the nine of wands on the bottom. The nine of wands is about perseverance. We have a wounded individual here who has been sticking it out. And remember, we saw the ten of wands already, but it's releasing. It's letting something go that they've been holding on to. We have somebody here that I feel like they've reached the end. You know, they've reached the end of holding on. They've, they're growing weary. They've, they've done everything in their power uh, waiting for something. Um, I think it's time for change with the five, five, fives. I mean the fives. I saw only two fives, but uh, the fives. Five, five is about change, a need for change. And I think there's conflict because the five of swords is conflict because change is needed. There's no growth here. There's no happiness. It's a dark situation to be in. So, um... Now, we may have somebody here that is taking soul action. You know, they're about ready to take action. They're, because they, this guy has the Ace of Wands in his hands. Okay, so I feel like maybe he's been thinking about moving forward. You know, he's been contemplating, maybe even talking to somebody, communicating with somebody. He's been hurt really bad. But that he's got the Ace of Wands, which is an action. It's a fresh start. It's doing something. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to do something. You know, this is somebody that is strong, that is... I feel like he's going to do something up by himself. You know, obviously, this is alone. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that is determined. They are determined to be successful because the next card is the Ten of Wands. And in order to be successful, I got to take action. I got to do this. I have to do this. I feel like we have somebody here that is very determined and they're in a situation where there's certainly no growth with the Sun card reversed. Maybe be a lack of love. Um, and there's been denial. This is coming out of denial. I feel like letting the emotions out or speaking the truth or something like that. Oh, now the Nine of Wands is reversed. So this is great personal fear. And it's next to the Two of Swords reverse, so definitely great personal fear. Somebody's been held back by fear. Fear of rejection, fear of commitment even, okay? Fear of committing themselves to something. Or fear of being betrayed, fear of being uh, abandoned. Maybe this person's been extremely wounded in the past, so they've been blocking themselves from happiness or blocking themselves from new beginnings or blocking themselves from commitments because it's a protection tactic. You know, pushing, pushing people away, somebody that could make them happy. Anyhow, nine of wands reverse. That is gr great personal fear, distrustful, not trusting, don't trust, no faith. No faith. We got somebody here that um, has been having a really hard time. And I think they've been having a hard time because of fear. Okay. Fear of, of maybe they've been, they've also not wanted to hurt somebody by doing what's right for them. You know, sometimes people stay in relationships because, you know, they don't want to hurt somebody. You know, they don't want to, they don't, you know. Um.
the world. Major completion of a cycle, right? The end. This is the end. This is somebody has learned a lesson that has caused their evolution. They've evolved. They're not the same person. So I feel like there could be a change of residence here or, you know, this is like a whole new you. Okay, the journey that they were on has made them into who they are now and they aren't the same person that they were when the journey started okay when this lesson started when this phase started okay it's over it's over so somebody is going to be stepping into a new existence probably stepping into a new life uh, leaving something behind they've been blocking They've been held back, but this is a release. It really is. It's just like stepping forward. So somebody is going to be stepping forward. Um, this is all about success, right? It's about a set success. Four of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that is extremely exhausted and fed up. They're tired of the stagnation. They're tired of the emptiness, you know. They're sick of it. They're sick of it. So I feel like that's what this is about. I feel like this is, it's time for a new life, you know. It's time to live again. It's time to stop. Uh, it's like, it's not resisting. It's, um being held back it's time it's time to st it's time to come out of hiding it's time to uh wake up you know it's time to start living again i feel like we have somebody here that is really sick of their current circumstances you know that's no life that's this is no life and and it isn't with the sun card reversed as well this is a dark situation uh, but I feel like we have somebody here that has been torn in two different directions with the Two of Swords and they've been refusing. They've been refusing to make a decision. They've been indecisive. They've been uh, really struggling with that Five of Swords with walking away from some, I think it's a previous commitment that has caused them a lot of exhaustion. Okay, they've been, they've been, uh, it's almost, I feel like it's almost like and I don't need the hang man. It feels like sacrificing themselves for. The fool reversed. Let me get one more card to go with that. Somebody may have made, may have made a poor judgment call or uh, made a foolish decision uh, to wait for something, to wait for something to change. And I feel like we've reached a breaking point with that 10 of wands at the re beginning, reverse. That is a breaking point, making a conscious change. So I do believe that we have somebody here that's going to be going down a new path. The first two cards with that, with that page of wands, you know, doing something fun, doing something exciting, taking a new adventure. This is going in a new direction, making a conscious change because where they're at, it's a dead end. I mean, the Four of Swords is, is a dead end. It's a dead end. It is. It's time to step forward into your new life, into the your new existence. You know, this is a whole new you. It's a whole new era with the World card. But the Fool is, is uh, in reverse, is a missed opportunity by waiting. Somebody has been missing, because the waiting is the Four of Swords, by somebody has been waiting. It's like they've been waiting on... Uh, something to change, not finding their confidence and their willpower and their discipline to take action. Queen of Wands reversed on the bottom, okay? We may have somebody here that um, has a poor self-image problem. Um, but anyhow, I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be taking soul action. Um, they've been feeling empty inside. I feel like lonely as, as well. Very lonely. Um, there's a lack of abundance here. There's no abundance here. None. None. There's no abundance. There could be even financial hardship. I don't see any money. I don't see any stability. I don't see any type of anything long term. 
foolish behavior. Somebody has been foolish. They've been naive. We have an individual here that is extremely, and I think unhealthy as well. Maybe it's just an unhealthy environment. I mean, with that sun card reversed, there's some sort of uh, poor health. There's abuse, maybe even, I don't know if it's mental abuse or something like that. Um, blocking, mental turmoil, mental anguish with the two of swords, no faith. Um, poor counsel, not listening to any advice or listening to poor advice. We have a relationship that's no on, is no longer on the same page. And I feel like we have somebody here that is about to do something. Could be extremely spontaneous with the Fool card reverse. Yeah, that could be extremely spontaneous. And the, the Fool in the world, that's just like... There's definitely been stagnation, but I feel like this is the end of stagnation. It is the end. It's the end of stagnation. There's a need for faith. There's a need to step forward in faith, and somebody has been lacking faith. And it's because they had a self-image problem. They didn't believe in themselves, right? Maybe they weren't nurtured as a child or something like that and that caused them to not believe in themselves there's definitely been some abuse could be even child abuse i mean like the the sun card reverse right next to the five of swords there's i mean child abuse here maybe there's been some ignored because of the two of swords and now i'm changing the story I mean, maybe some there's been some ignored child abuse, or so maybe somebody's suppressed. They've suppressed, you know, their previous their child abuse, their child neglect from a father, or something like that, or lack of a father, or something like that. I know I keep changing it, but uh, I feel like there's some sort of previous child abuse or previous child of neglect, um, which has caused somebody to. Uh, not know, you know, their value or something like that. Anyhow, the cycle is over. This is like uh, changing the cycle with the world card, ending a cycle, the completion of a cycle of abuse or, or something like that. Um, but there's still a lot of fear here. There's fear, fear, fear of... Uh, what the lovers mm. fear of falling in love fear of commitment fear of uh partnership fear of something i mean the fool reversed is fear and then the lovers is love right it's union it's fear of falling in love there's fear of falling in love here fear of uh falling in love i mean come on now you got to replace your fear with faith and step forward in faith, okay? Don't let your previous abuse, whether it's from your childhood or right into all the rest of your commitments, hold you back from falling in love or deepening a bond with somebody. There's a potential to deep a bond, deepen a bond. There is. There is. There's some sort of attraction here. There's, it's a deep attraction. It could be a soulmate situation with the lover's card. Okay, this could be potential soulmates. Right? This is a major choice. Making a major choice in love could be very, 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 very suddenly. And, and it's right next to the fool reversed. Okay? The fool reversed is falling in love. So somebody may be falling in love with somebody, you know, and they're resisting it. Right? They are resisting it. Um, or they're trying to push it away. Maybe they're not already in a commitment because the lovers is a choice. Okay, it's always a choice, a choice. But when you got a choice, there's obviously more than one, right? So somebody has to make a choice. They have to make a choice. And I think it's a difficult choice with that five of swords. And, and I feel like it's really beginning to feel the feelings and seeing the truth with the two of swords. Somebody's been trying to block them and push them down. And, but I feel like it's really hard to, to uh, do that. 
I do see the end of stagnation, stepping forward into some sort of partnership or some sort of union spontaneously. Let's get one more card. Seeing very, very clearly, seeing it, seeing it clearly, but there's so much worry. There's so much worry and resentment from the past. The Emperor, the Emperor. So, you have something to do with a father. Whew. So, anyhow, the Emperor uh, takes charge. This is somebody that is probably very rigid, that is making, you know, is bases their decisions, you know, on the facts. So somebody is, and it's right next to the lovers, could be dealing with the Aries, could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, we have Taurus. We have Leo. We have everybody, so it doesn't really matter, but unexpected choice, making a big choice, making a decision. This is a boss, a ruler, a judge, a person that is in a position of authority that is making a, I feel like it's very sudden, with the full reverse, a sudden decision in regards to a partnership. It is the end of stagnation. Taking action. Eight of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands reversed is, I don't know, this person may have somebody here that feels guilty. They feel guilty or they're stuck. They've been stuck. They've been, they've been stagnant. I feel like there's a difficult decision here. Now, this is taking taking charge, uh, making a decision, a big one. Trying, trying to make the best decision. That's why there's been some sort of delay. There could be a missed opportunity here. Somebody maybe, well, there's fear. There's extremely fearful, fearful of rejection. Three of shields. So this is working together with somebody else. It's, it is. Somebody's going to be working together with making a definite decision to collaborate and work together with somebody else. It's the three of pentacles. Okay, this is about togetherness, it's communication, it's compromise, it's appreciation, it's, it's uh, loyalty. So I feel, like, I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be working with somebody. They're making a decision to collaborate and work with somebody where they can share their skills and bring their skills together to create a masterpiece. Now we got that other five. I knew that we did. Okay. So I knew that there was going to be one. I did because I could, I thought five, 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 expect the unexpected. This is a need for change. Fives represent change. They represent struggles. They represent conflict. Okay. Conflict that brings change. Struggle that brings change. And a need for change. Life is about to change. This is a major life change. And I think there's been some sort of financial hardship. There's been some sort of abandonment. There's been some sort of financial struggle here, which I saw. And the only way it's going to improve is to work together and collaborate with somebody else. To get together with somebody else. It's going to require teamwork and taking action. So I think that we have somebody here that has to take action, but they have to make a decision in regards to love because that's part of it. You know, it's the way it goes. There is a decision that needs to be made 
in regards to love because the lovers is here so this is about a, it's about a union okay it's about love and maybe somebody's been blocking you know or they've been held back by that love factor wherever they're at right now there's no love there ain't none there ain't none 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 in fact the sun card is reversed and there ain't no cups here there ain't no love here none none and there isn't a lot of money either you know or a lot of stability or whatever and the only way that there's going to be is to step into new territory and end this cycle and replace your fear with faith. And the faith has been a factor. No faith, no faith in themselves. Don't believe in themselves. Poor self-image. So, you know, in order to have that love and to have that growth and to have that new life, you have to let go of the old cycle and step into unknown territory. This is the end of stagnation. It is. Somebody's going to be working together with somebody and creating with that three of wands. They're going to be creating a new project. Taking the lead. Taking the lead. Somebody's taking the lead. They're going to be working with somebody. And it's going to be, and there is a partnership here. There is definitely a partnership. There's hands. There's love. There's unity. There's reciprocation. There's equality. It's a perfect match. I mean, the lovers is a perfect match. It's a, it's a perfect union. But I feel like this perfect union has been blocked because somebody uh, has been stagnant and letting fear hold them back. Or maybe a previous commitment with that hero font reversed. Anyhow, 555, five, five, expect the unexpected. Um, taking soul action. Ending a cycle, ending a cycle of some sort of abuse, you know? Good luck.